Lisp. So this is actually the number is 27 and it is given in this form. So 27 and this is 564. Oops, sorry. So this is 564. And what we actually have to do is we need to add these numbers. So the resultant uh, of this 564 plus this is 1, 591. So this is the resultant that we are going to get if we add these numbers. But the numbers are actually given in the linked list and each digit is actually in a single node. So this is 27 and this is 564. And one thing to notice here is that the number is in the reversed form. So the 27 is actually this 7 and 2 right here and 564 is in 4, 6 and 5. So the resultant we know that it is going to be 591. So how are we actually going to do this question? And the thing is the resultant should also be in this form. So 1, 9 and 5. So this should be the resultant that we should get. And uh, let's see how we are actually going to do this problem. So we know that uh, the link list head 1 is going to be here and head 2 is going to be here. So the thing is that uh, what if we take a variable as sum and whatever digit that is here, we are going to add this in this sum. So this is 7 and after that we are going to add 4 so 7 plus 4 it is going to be 11 but the thing is that when we are actually adding a number we don't require the secondary digit right here so that is why we only require this digit so this extra one is actually going to become a carry so we are going to have another variable call us carry and uh, now to separate this digit what we need to do is we need to modulo this number whatever the sum is we are going to modulo this with 10 so we are going to get the end portion of the digit so if we modulo 11 more 10 what we are going to get is actually 1 and to create the carry what we can do is we're going to have a simple condition that uh, let's say if my sum is actually going to be greater than 9 because the maximum digit at this place can come from 0 to 9 so the maximum one we're going to get as 9 so whatever number that the sum is going to make if it is greater than 9 then we're going to have a carry so 7 plus 4 it created 11 we did the modulo of that and we got 1 and our carry is also 1 so this carry is going to get added for the next number that is going to come so before that whatever digit that we have created here it is going to get placed as the head so initially my head was null and now this head is actually at here and this is going to be as null so now what we are going to do is we are going to be moving on to my next digit and let's call it as h2 and this is h1 so now first we're going to add 
this is zero again and first we're going to add two this condition we can place it right here so first we're going to add two after that we're going to add six two plus six is eight so we're going to check is it like nine whatever the sum is is it greater than nine no so what we're going to do is Uh, one thing I forgot. Rip. Now, because we have a carry as one, so we have to add this carry in this sum also. So we are gonna have sum plus equals carry, and after that we are gonna check check this condition. So this sum is actually going to become as nine. So now the thing is that. <clears throat> We have nine and our carry is going to get reset to zero because we have already added it here. And again, we're going to check the condition is my sum is actually greater than nine. So no, then now what we are going to do is we're going to add this nine right here in the linked list. And the thing is, there is going to be another number that is going to get like right here so there should be something a pointer here which could actually add this node here but uh, the thing is our head is actually white at the start of the link list so that's why we are not gonna place this over here we need to keep track of the link list so that's why our head is gonna be white here but for the iteration we are gonna create another temp pointer which is initially going to be null and when our head is going to get initialized with this node at the same time my temp is also going to be initialized and after that whatever node that we are going to attach we are going to attach it with the help of my temp so this nine is actually going to get attached using temp of next and after attaching it my temp is actually going to get placed here and let's see when we are going to add another node here how the process is going to work so now i have attached 9 here and again we are going to add some new numbers so my h2 is going to get here and my h1 is also going to move on here and now as you can observe that my h2 is null so i'm not going to add nothing here so there is going to be a condition that we are going to check if my L1, sorry, my H2, is it null or not? Only after that, if it's not null, only then we are going to add the value of it. And the same case is going to be for the H1. And uh, now, as we can see that my H1 is actually not null. So we are going to add 5 as my sum here. And again we're gonna add the carry so my carry is actually zero so we are not going to do anything and simply after that we're going to attach five here so now as my temp is actually here which is its next is pointing to null so we're gonna make temp of next point to five and after that my temp is actually going to move on to here and Finally, my H1 is going to move right here. And now both H2 and H1 are null. So our iteration has completed. And this 591 is actually our answer. Now, this is the case when like everything happens smoothly. But there could be some other edge cases. So let's see what are those so there could be a case that your link list one is actually nothing but there is a link list two which contains let's say two and three so let's see what we are going to do in this case so again we're going to have a variable called carry our head is initially going to be null 
because we are going to create a new linked list for that and there is going to be another variable for iteration called temp which is initially going to be null now this is our head 2 and <clears throat> first we are going to check that if my l1 is actually something it is actually pointing to something only then we are going to add the sum l let's call it sorry let's call it h1 and let's call this h1 and only then i'm going to add the value in my sum and after that i'm going to move on to the h1 of next only if there is something that is my h1 is pointing to but in this case it is actually null so we are not going to do anything and my sum is still going to remain zero and the same thing we are going to check for my head two head two of val <clears throat> <clears throat> and here in this case we can see that my h2 is actually pointing to something which is 2 so we are going to add 2 in my sum and after that whatever my carry have we are going to add that so in this case it is actually 0 so my sum is still going to remain 2 and let's just write it here So my sum is actually still remaining as 2 and now we are going to check if let's uh, make this so if my sum is actually greater than 9 then what we need to do is we need to set my carry as 1 and if uh, okay so another thing we can actually do here is make this as it we are going to extract our last digit if my sum is actually greater than so in this case of 10 we're going to extract 0. In this case of 11, we're going to extract 1. In the case of 12, we're going to extract 2. So this is what this step is actually doing. And the rest of the digit is actually signifying that we have a carry that is generated. And in this case, there is nothing. It is because it is 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a node. And after creating that node, we're going to add it in our new link list but the thing is that how are we actually going to do that so let's get back to here okay so let's call it as node and uh, this uh, let's call it as dig which is signifying that there is a digit and our new node is actually going to get generated and in this we are going to pass whatever there is number but let's just make it as this so now my digit of uh, next we're going to make it point to null because just in case if there is like there is only one node then we actually need to point it to null so that's why my digit of next is actually null and let's assume that if it's a last node then also we want it to point to null so that's why we're going to initialize it to null and we're going to make its value as the sum so this two as is generated as a new node and now we're going to check if my head is actually null or not so if it is null then what we are going to do is we are going to make this digit 
as the new head and also along with this we are going to place our temp for the iteration else what we are going to do is we are going to make temp of next point to the new node and after that make up a temp of next go to it next node so let's see what this step is actually doing so i have my two as its sum we are going to create the new node a new node is generated and my head my head is also at null initially which is right here and along with that my temp is also actually at null so now a new node is generated we are going to place its next to null and place its some value as 2 and if my head is null which in this case it is then we are going to make this 2 as its new head and make our temp also as 2 now because I have done all of this step and my H2 is actually already at this position. Then again, we're going to do the same steps. But this time, let's see how it is going to function. So, my H1, is it null? Yes. Is my H2 at null? No. So, we're going to add 3 in my sum and move my H2 to this. And after that, we're going to check. If there is a carry then we're gonna add it to my sum in this case it's not so again we're gonna check if my sum is actually greater than 9 so no and now again we're gonna make a new node make it point to null store the 3 here and after that again we're gonna check is my head is equal to null in this case it's not so in at this step my head and my temp both were pointing at 2 so now in this step first we are going to attach our temp of next to my 3 and after that make my temp move to 3 so this is what we are doing at this step and let's attach another node as 7 and again we're going to do the same step is my h1 null yes is my h2 null no so add it to sum move my h2 to its next position and if there is carry we're going to add it in this case it's not is my sum greater than 9 no create a new node make it point to null store the sum is it head actually equal to null no then make my temp of next point to seven and move my temp here and after this step uh, when my h1 so we were only doing this step while either my uh, there is something in my h1 or there is, was something in my S2. So all of this step we, are, we were only doing when there was something in my head. So now they were both pointing to null. We are going to stop and just return our head. So this is how we are going to do addition of two numbers. And let's look at it in the code. So this is the initialization step when my head and temp is both equal to null this is my carry we are only going to do the step when let's call it as h1 uh, let me replace all, all of this so just consider this l1 as h1 uh, Okay, so I can't replace this. So just consider this L1 as H1 and L2 as H2. So we are only going to do 
this, these steps when either there is something in L1 or either there is something in L2. So when both of these are going to point to null, then we are going to stop and let's start it. So first my sum is actually going to be equal to zero. If there is something in L1, we're going to add it to sum and move on to the next. And if there is something in L2, we're going to add it and move on to the next. And if there is something in my carry, then we're going to add it in my sum. After that, we're going to check if my sum is actually greater than nine, which means we should generate a carry. So after generating a carry, we're going to extract the last digit. And after that, we're going to make our node. And this node creation is actually going to do the step for initializing the value and pointing the next point of it to null. And after that, if there is my head is actually null, then we're going to initialize our head and our temp. Else what we're going to do is we're going to make our temp of next point to this new node and make our temp go to that new node. And we're going to do the step again and again until I, both of my L1 and L2 are null. After that, this is actually a edge case. So let's see what this edge case is actually is. So let's think there were only two nodes. So there are two nodes H1 and H2. So my carry is zero. My temp is null. My head is also null. And my sum, let's see. So there is something in my H1 and there is something in my H2. First, we're going to add this nine. And there is also something in my H2. So we're going to add it in nine. Move on the H. Is there is something in my carry? There is nothing. So we're going to add on the zero. After that, it is going to generate 18. And we're going to initialize our head and temp both as 8 because we are only going to extract the last digit and our, we are going to set our carry to 1. Now the thing is all of this step has already happened. So this loop has already happened and my both L1 and L2 are actually pointing to null. So the thing is we are going to stop. But as you can see right here the actual number should have been 18, but the only thing that, that we're going to get as output is 8 because we haven't done anything with this carry. So this is the step where you should have if after doing the, all of these operations and after getting out of the loop, if there is still a carry, then again, we're going to make a new node for this digit. And uh, now you should add this in the temp of next. Temp of next should point to this new node. And after that, just uh, uh, like this step doesn't matter. So first, what you're going to do, if there is a carry, in this case it is. So we are going to create a new node. and make it initialize to one, make it point to null. And because your temp of next is still at this position, we are going to make temp of next point to this one. And after that, you can just return. And now you have 18 as your number. So this is the edge case that we are doing right here. So this step doesn't matter. And if you run this, Let's see if there are any compilation error. No, we are going to submit. And as you can see, we have got the answer. So the time complexity and the space complexity of this, let's see. So what we are doing is we are actually iterating the two nodes. So this could be the size of N. This could be the size of M. So the, uh, the complexity is big O N plus M. 
so it should be n plus m but uh, like they are same thing so we're gonna make it as big o n and the space complexity is like we are actually creating new node so for this new number so you can consider this as the big o n space complexity and let's finally summarize this so the numbers are already in reverse, in reverse order so all we need to do is while iterating l1 and l2 node values and before adding we're going to check if uh, my l1 either l1 or l2 is null or not and after that we're going to add the carry if there is one so here in this step we were checking if there is something in l1 we're going to add it as sum if there is something in l2 we're going to add it as sum and if there is something in the carry we're going to add it and after that what we are doing is we are resetting the carry to zero and in this case we are doing that and if the sum is actually become larger than nine then we are going to extract the last digit of the sum because that is the only thing that we require to create the number and the rest of it becomes the carry then we are doing is then we just create a new node with the digit and check if we have created new head or not and if not then we're gonna make our head and temp as pointer to the new node and for the rest of it then we are simply gonna make up a temp of next point to the new node and place our temp to that new node for the rest of the numbers that we're gonna add after it and finally this is the exceptional case if there is a carry then we're gonna make a new node and point our temp of next to that new node and finally we're gonna return our new head and that's about it for adding the two numbers